What's up guys, today we are going to be looking at the Samsung SmartThings Hub and multi-purpose sensor. This is for your door or window. And uh, we're gonna do a unboxing setup, quick review. Uh, but with all that said, welcome to my home. Sorry for the mess, just got moved in here a while ago. Um, but we're just gonna unbox it. This is the Smart Home Hub 2. Uh, this is their second version, their second gen. So we're just gonna flip it up here. This is the hub itself. On the side of the device, we have ethernet, two USB ports, reset button, power, and that's about it. This thing can control thousands of devices, thermostats, uh, blinds, door locks, speakers, smoke detectors, you name it, it connects a ton of stuff. Some documentation in here, looks like the manuals and stuff probably. We have a um, ethernet cord, four AA batteries, and that's probably for the backup battery. So if your house does run out of power, then um, you do have batteries, but that's where those batteries would go. So I'm not gonna do that yet. Uh, let's also just quickly take a look at the multi-purpose sensor. Um, that is a small sensor, guys. I had expected it to be a little bit larger, but that's perfect because it's going to be less intrusive being smaller. And then some screws to mount that sensor. So first thing we got to do is unlock our phone. Face ID. Perfect. We're going to go to the App Store and download the Smart Things app. We're going to come into here and we're going to create an account. So we're gonna do new to smart things. Gonna to agree to the terms and conditions, enter our email. All right, so we've successfully created our account. Now we are going to confirm our country. Now it looks like we entered the code that comes with the smart things hub. All right guys, so I just entered the code. The code is on this documentation that is sent to your product. Now it looks like on the screen, it's gonna show us on-screen instructions to set up the device. So now we're gonna connect the hub using the power adapter and the ethernet cord. Okay, a little bit of a mess here, but there's our router, SmartThings hub, and we are plugged in right there. So, now let's head back to our phone. We're going to grant location permission while using the app. Okay. So now it looks like our hub is supposed to be doing some stuff. And so we're waiting for it to turn solid green. Right now it's blue. So this hub goes out to the internet probably and uh, this Registration code is connecting to the hub via the cloud. All right, while the hub is connecting to the internet, let's take a quick look at the multi-purpose sensor here. On the top, pulls right off, that is the cap. We have our battery and a removable wall plate. So it looks like this piece would actually snap off. All right, this piece actually snaps off. You screw that onto the wall. Uh, you can also double-sided tape this, and then basically this is our contact. Remove, remove that um, tag there, and then that just goes there. So whenever it loses contact, it lets you know your door is open, and you can have it trigger something. For example, your door opens, you can have the Smart Things Hub turn on or off lights, or do something else. Okay guys, finally got set up. The SmartThings Hub went through an update, but we're in and now it's connected to our phone. It actually tells us that our phone can be a presence sensor. So it'll know that because our phone is nearby the Smart Hub, we are gonna be home. Now we'll just hit okay. Yes, we want it to send us notifications. That's the whole point of this. Now we're gonna add a thing. So our thing is going to be that um, sensor. Now all we gotta do is, I got the sensor installed on the door now. 
All we're gonna do is pull this tab. Boom. Now, it should theoretically pop up here in a second. And it's best when you have the uh, sensor 15 feet from the hub to get it to pair. Once you get it to pair, then you can move it further away and then um, you should be able to change the settings. Now I actually picked up bedroom lamp, which is interesting. Okay, this is my um, my Wemos. It did not find the door sensor. Oh, it's finding more lights. So I do have Wemos set up. Let's go check out the sensor. But you guys can see here, I got these Wemos installed. Alexa, turn off the kitchen lights. Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. And then we're installing the entry one right now. So let's pull this off. It's blinking. So that's supposed to be good, I think. Oh, we got it. Multi-purpose sensor. So we are going to rename this. All right, it's got all of our lights and our front door. Now it knows the front door is closed. Let's check this out, guys. So, the sensor is there. We're gonna open the door. Nice, check that out. Nice, okay. So now we can go into the app and set automation. Okay guys, so now we are all set up. I wanna give you a quick demo. I'm not gonna go in too in depth in here, but this is basically what the SmartThings hub does. It's, it's exactly what its name is, it's a hub. So here we can control all our smart devices. This is all our Wemo light switches. Now check this out, Alexa, turn off the kitchen lights. So we can turn it off via our Amazon Echo, but check this out, we can also do it via the app here. So basically we have everything here. And then the, again, the neat thing is you can have all those door sensors and stuff. You can arm the system just like an alarm. So when the door opens, then it'll notify your, your phone. Um, but the, the neatest thing here is that I have rules. So you can always add a routine here and you can give the name of the routine a name, but I've already made one here. So what this one does here is, if I open up the door, then my kitchen lights automatically turn on. So let's try that out. Alexa, turn off all the lights. So it turned off all of that, except I haven't wired this one in yet. So check this out, guys. It's dark, I'm coming home, the door is closed, unlock the door, boom, automatically kitchen lights turn on once the door is open. So that's just some cool things you guys could do in the app. Um, but as always, I will be posting more videos about this. Again, let me know what you guys think. All right guys, without making the video way too long, I am going to end it there. Uh, I'm gonna make future videos about the SmartThings Hub. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you wanna see with this device. Let me know what you guys think. If you found the video helpful, always leave a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my other tech videos. Thanks for watching.